What's up guys, Coach Show Garage De La Swole, and in this video we're gonna be covering what is in my gym bag. So right off the bat, I have done a video like this, I think it was like five or six years ago when I first opened the gym, I was getting more into competing, whether it was strongman or just general training. Uh, but a lot's changed th since then. So I've acquired more gear. I've got rid of stuff maybe I haven't used that I did back then. So I want to update you on what is in my gym bag. And disclaimer, first off, is that I travel all over the place, whether it's for collaborations or just vacation type stuff. So this is always changing. I'll explain that as we go along the way. But this is like my base setup. So if you were going to say, hey, you're going to a collab with so-and-so, I'm gonna pack everything that you see in this bag, and then from there, I'll usually pick and choose what I need depending on what we're doing, but I like to be prepared. Not to say that there isn't some sort of benefit of having minimal equipment with you. At the same time, I like being able to have that advantage when I can pick and choose the things that I use for training depending on the workout, environment, that type of deal. So we're gonna unzip this bad boy, and the way I'm gonna go about it is basically from the ground up. So starting with the feet, all the way up type of deal, and then miscellaneous type stuff that we'll have in this gym bag. So let's get right to it. Off to a great start. This is also my high school football duffel bag. So I've had this thing for well over 10 plus years and it's just been tried and true, throw everything in there, gets the job done, figure out what bag or setup works for you. I know there's all sorts of fancy gym bags out today, uh, but I just go with the duffel bag, you know, try to rock the, uh, the glory days, the glory high school football days. How many guys have heard the old heads talk about those stories? Because I sure have. Boom, boom. So footwear is gonna depend on what I'm training, but I have a few options. The first thing is gonna be that I always travel with my running shoes or shoes that I am able to get my steps in. From there, I typically want something that's gonna be more flatter so I can do either strongman events or maybe something like deadlifting where I don't have that cushion of a running shoe or a raised heel, et cetera. I've been rocking the Vans Ultra platform for a good amount of time. Really love those. I'll continue to buy those because they're great for deadlifting. They're not the best for moving events, which is why I've always rocked these Nike Metcons. I'm not sure if they even make these anymore, but any of my strongman competitions, you've always seen me wearing these for any style of moving event. I also have my lifters. Okay, so these are the Adidas weightlifting shoes. I've had these for over eight years. I've tried Nikes, I've tried Position, I've had all different types of lifting shoes, but these by far have been my most favorite. Uh, just comfy, they fit my foot properly, and they're the most used. So that's what I'm rocking when it comes to footwear. So as we move over to the knees, okay, I typically have these minimalist knee sleeves. Now everybody always asks me when they see these in Instagram or YouTube videos, what kind of knee sleeves are these? I got these off Amazon. I think they're by the company Bear Complex. I just have two different colors and I can alternate when these are stinky, these need to be washed, whatever, back and forth. I like these just because they give a little bit of compression, probably the most minimal amount of compression. They're easy to put on and off and just create a little bit of blood flow around the knee joint. This isn't what I'm gonna use when I'm going super heavy or you know, pushing really hard. Typically when it comes to that, I'm going to use either of these two. So I have the Stoics, which are probably worn the most, okay? So uh, these are great for the price point. A lot of people compare them to SBDs and they're half the cost of SBD, but basically the same exact thing. So I've been rocking Stoics for the last five or six years and these are just thicker, okay? They're gonna be able to really support the knee joint, keep it warm uh, and also stay on. They have these little grip textures here so it doesn't slide a whole bunch and I can definitely get a little bit of spring uh, at the end of that lift or the bottom of the lift. And then these are the Cerberus. These are great too. These ones are a little bit smaller, uh, so they're gonna be harder to put on for me uh, and they just offer more support and maybe a little bit extra bounce uh, when I'm going heavier. So more of a pain in the ass to get on versus the Stoics, but I've just been given a lot of these things over time and just, 
That's just what I use them for. So it just depends on if I'm going super heavy or if I'm not on what type of knee support I'm gonna use. Boom, boom, boom. Now the next thing when it comes to knee support is we have knee wraps. So these are very minimal hook grip knee wraps. I use these a lot when I was doing Olympic lifting. So you can get them tighter than obviously the knee sleeves, but these ones aren't gonna be super uh, tight and restrictive like the wraps that I have here. Now I'm no knee wrap expert. I got into it in the last couple of years, especially when I was going really heavy. And these ones have been my favorite. These were given to me by someone at the den named Tina, who was big into powerlifting. She knew all about knee wraps. So she hooked me up with these and she had all different levels of knee wraps from ones that were really stiff, you know, just suck getting into, but delivered a really good bounce out of the bottom of the squat, super tight. These ones are kind of in the middle, maybe more of a beginner, um, but I found for me, these were the best ones. So I had those in my bag as well. Now the next thing I have are gonna be my strongman briefs, okay? So these are reband. Typically you'll see strongman wear these all the time. These are just gonna keep your hips and everything around your hips nice and warm. They're gonna be tight. Uh, so you're just creating blood flow to the area. And it's also nice when you're doing events that you don't have your shorts in the way of things. So there's no drag on you. So I'll typically throw these on uh, either by themselves or under a pair of some short shorts, just because they're gonna keep my hips and lower body warmed up, ready to go. And they're just very big in the strongman community. So if you aren't wearing these as a strongman, are you even a strongman? Now, I do wanna say the one thing I don't have in this bag, and I'm actually not sure where it's at, maybe in a storage unit or maybe just in the trash somewhere when I was getting stuff from the gym, was gonna be my Cerberus soft belt. So if you watch Strongman, typically you'll see that they have the briefs on. Over top of that, uh, they're gonna have some sort of soft belt, and then usually we put our leather belt on top of that. That's just gonna be more support. It's great when you're doing things like log clean and press or axle bar clean and press that you're not pinching your skin all the time. And once again, just that added support to the low back and hip area. From there, I have my Pioneer belt. This is one of my favorite belts. This was actually gifted to me with the custom Lion Stand logo from Alan Thrall. This is pretty much the belt I wear for everything. And Pioneers does a great job at this point. I think they're one of the biggest belt manufacturers out there. They do top quality work and I absolutely love them. I'll probably get another one in the future. Uh, with belts, okay, you can change in size, you can change in thickness, all that type of stuff. I know people have levers or non-levers. Now they have this cool universal buckle that you can you know, play with and adjust, so come a long way. But this is my staple belt, especially when I'm lifting heavy and in a strength box, so I'll be using that in the future. And then I guess, so that's hips. Do we go wrist first or elbow? Wrist or elbow? Well, let's handle wrists. Actually, before wrists, we need straps. So let's go outside the wrist, on the wrist, elbow. I know it's gonna make me seem kind of like a diva here, but I have all different sorts of straps. I know it's a bit excessive, but I like having the option, depending on what I'm doing, with what straps I need. So we have your traditional iron mine, just regular wrist straps. These ones are good for just anything where you need grip for hypertrophy training, etc. They're not the best because the material is a little bit slippery. So these are more like a nylon finish. Then I actually have rogue leather straps. So these are better because they're more grippy because of the leather. The issue I've had with these is they've actually snapped or ripped on me when deadlifting, which could cause an injury. Probably me being an idiot by not getting new ones in time when I saw some tearing, but I have not ripped nylon straps yet. So just depends on what kind of feel you're going for. Then we're gonna head into the figure eight realm. So I got these Grip Genie uh, figure eight straps, which are nylon. So they're not as heavy duty as the ones I'll show you in a second, but these are great just to throw on, doing some lighter deadlifts. Maybe you just need some grip uh, for some barbell work. Have a pair of these in there. And then we step it up and we have the Cerberus figure eights, which are by far my favorite and most used. So typically in any strongman competition where I need straps, I'll use these. 
Uh, the pros is that they're quick to get on. You just have to make sure you practice taking them off. Sometimes people get trapped in the bar because they haven't practiced that technique of getting them on and off fastly. Um, but I find that it's just an easy way to secure a really solid grip. And I'll use these in all my strongman competitions. Now, aside of that, I also have another pair of figure eights. These are a size up because in strongman, sometimes we're using really thick bars, like over two to two and a half inch thickness of an axle bar. So I remember I got these for nationals in 2019 because we're using a two and a half inch axle and I couldn't get a good grip with the regular straps I use. So I went up a size and I had these in my bag and I could try on and warm ups which ones felt better. So just having those options is great. And then lastly, I have two pairs of these type of weightlifting straps. So obviously when I was big in Olympic weightlifting, you want a strap that you can get the grip on the bar. But as you do something like a snatch, uh, you want to be able to not have your hand all wrapped up and potentially cause injury to your wrist. So these are like quick release straps when doing lifts like the snatch. Also use these with dumbbells and barbells. They work fine, but you're not going to have as much support as if you're using something like a figure eight or just a regular strap like that. So looking a bit like a diva nonetheless, but like I said, I'll take this whole bag with me. I'll pick and choose what I need based on the exercises and how heavy we're going. So just great to have some options there. Now, as we talk about wrist support, these are rogue, uh, just canvas wrist wraps. They're super cheap. And when I was big in CrossFit and weightlifting, I used this for a little bit of wrist support. But like I said, there's barely support with these. They're just nice to have and just give you a little bit of support around the wrist, but nothing crazy. Typically what I use when it comes to wrist support is gonna be the uh, gangster wraps. So I know they're all different wrist wraps, different you know lengths, different thicknesses. These ones for me have just been tried and true for all my heavy overhead pressing or my benching. They get the job done. Uh, so I've just been sticking with these gangster wraps. But once again, figure out what works best for you. Now as we talk about elbow support, I have two elbow sleeves that I typically use all the time. Whenever I'm going lighter or maybe starting off a strength block, I'll use these uh, strong sleeves by Mark Bell or Slingshot. And these don't offer as much support as the Cerberus ones and they're not as thick. Uh, but if we're just looking to get the elbows loose and warmed up, I'll throw these on. And then as I work heavier or I'm getting into more serious training or pressing, I'm gonna throw on these, which are gonna be tighter, have a little bit more compression and just seem to be better when I'm working heavier. So I'll go back and forth between these two. I know some people can wrap their elbows as well. I've never done that. Um, I've been fine with just these, but that's kind of what I have when it comes to elbow support. And then we'll kind of get into what I use for warmups. So especially being a strongman or going to a competition where you don't know the warmup situation, which is very typical in strongman, or if you're just showing up to a gym that you've never trained at before, you don't know what they have. I just find it uh, great to have one of these physical therapy bands. I like this because I can just tie it to any sort of structure. And I also like it because the grip that you get with it, you can kind of wrap your hands in different ways. It's very comfortable. So I'll get one of these minimal uh, physical therapy bands and I'll do all sorts of different things for my shoulders, or maybe I'll wrap it around my knees and I can do something that would mimic a hip circle if I don't have one just to warm up my legs. So this is great all around. Now on top of that, I feel like if you don't have some sort of band, uh, whether it's the physical therapy band or one of these just elastic bands, you're probably an idiot. Just kidding, still love you. Uh, but this is great for doing all different types of mobility exercises, stretching, or just creating blood flow, whether it's upper body, lower body, you can use this. And this is great, especially with strongman competitions because sometimes the warm up weight is super heavy and you don't want to just go cold turkey into it. So you can use this band to just get blood flow and then you can get to a warm up weight and it's better than not having one. So I'll typically use these two to warm up. Outside of that, I typically have some sort of lacrosse ball. So I'll use this just to kind of roll around, whether it's on my legs or upper body somewhere, I'll just go against the wall and I'll use this just to kind of roll out, warm up, feel a little bit better. And then usually I always have some sort of gripper. So this is just a Grip Genie gripper. I have their entire set, which I love. I actually have one in my truck. I have one next to my bed. I'm obsessed with just getting in grip work. So this is awesome if you're just trying to pump up the hands a little bit. So I'll throw one of those when it comes to warmups. The rest of the stuff in my bag is typically gonna be miscellaneous. So I'll just pull out things and I'll just show you what I have in there. Obviously a shaker bottle for pre-post intro workout. 
I usually always have my Yeti here. Uh, this is a bigger one, but I try to get at least a liter or more of water during my training sessions. From there, I have a pair of gloves. So this is specifically for strongman style stuff. So say we're doing some arm over arm drags or pulls, depending on what we're using. I'll have these in there if I need them. I have used them in shows. I have not used them in shows, but just a great thing to have glove wise, just to prevent your hands from tearing and getting a little bit better grip. I always have grippers. So this just makes it easy for me to get grip work done wherever I'm at. So if I wanna throw these on a pair of dumbbells or a barbell, I can easily take these with me and create anything to be grip more directed with these in the bag. Of course, Tiger Bomb, if you are lifting and you're serious, your joints at some point are going to ache. We need to dull the pain a bit. So Tiger Bomb, especially during you know, heavier strength training or more intense training blocks, I'm using this 100%. Obviously, deodorant, the DO to keep the BO away. I prefer speed stick, it's cheap, it goes on, and it has no aluminum. So, there you go. Chalk, usually I'll have either a chalk block in a Ziploc bag like this, or I'll have liquid chalk if the gym doesn't allow chalk. Liquid chalk's just an easy way to get around that, so we always have something to keep the friction with our hands and barbell. Advil, because, yeah. You need Advil. And then I always have a little bottle of ammonia. Let me see if this is good. Oh, oh, yeah, that's good, that's good. We got the O uh, from Juji, great stuff. I'm not a huge ammonia guy, but there's times when I'm beat, I'm tired, I need to increase that training stimulus a bit. So I'll take a couple whiffs of that. Then, obviously, I am a fitness influencer, a fitluencer, so I need my tripod. All jokes aside, tripods are great. If you're ever looking to just analyze your technique on something, you can throw that up, get a couple quick clips, see where you can do better, see how your training's looking, et cetera. I'm big with documenting my training, hence why I also have my training log in here. So I record all my workouts. Usually I have pens and stuff in the side pocket, uh, but that's pretty much the setup. I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh, my fanny. So I have, this duffel bag that I'll take with me, depending on the gym that I'm training at or what I'm doing, I may not need all this crap. So I'll take what I need and just throw it into the fanny. So if I don't need my belt, maybe I just need uh, a pair of straps or a couple of the little things, I just toss it in here. I don't like to have a huge footprint when I train with people. So I'll just take what I need, throw it in the fanny pack, and that makes it a little bit more minimal. That's kind of my setup right now with what I have uh, in my gym bag. It's changed over time. There's a couple things maybe missing or things that I've discarded from the last video, but that's just what I use. I'm not getting sponsored. I'm not trying to promote any of these companies. As you can see, they're from all different companies. This is just my bag, but this has been my tried and true setup for competitions or collaborations or just dropping in at a gym. If you guys like any of this stuff, feel free to buy it yourself or comment down below ask me more questions about it, or maybe there's things that I don't have that I do need, put them down. I like to get the conversation going. I think it's cool to have your own customized gym bag to suit your needs. If you're looking to support the channel, we have ways you can do that. Simply liking and subscribing means the absolute world to me. I do appreciate the comments. I like to answer everybody's comments and keep growing the video as much as possible. We also have programming apps and templates. So the app has all my programs in a library. There's ways to track all your data. There's nutrition stuff in there and there's exercise demonstrations. So you can pick what program works best for you and then subscribe. It's just a monthly reoccurring subscription, but the programs on there will last you years depending on the goals that you have. So highly recommend checking that out. There's also the Patreon. The Patreon is exclusive behind the scenes content that we talk about anything to fortify the mind and the body. And that is just on Patreon. So all the stuff on Patreon you do not see on any of my social media platforms, which makes it cool because you're getting a more in-depth, personal, and detailed video on topics that I do talk about on the channel, but I wanna go in-depth more. We also have free programs on there and just a lot of cool stuff. So check out the Patreon. Also I have custom one-on-one -on -one programming, so I only take a limited amount of clients when I do that. If you guys are interested, please email me or send me a DM on Instagram. We'll get the conversation going, see if it's right for you, and then we can proceed from there. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Now I gotta put all this crap back in my gym bag, and I hope 
that you guys stay lean and mean strength health machines. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.